Nebraska, the winningest team of the decade. A mean machine that can bash, dash, and slash its way to big yards and to opposition Pater. But last week, it was the longest yard it didn't surrender that kept their record clean. Texas A&M constructs its own ground attack and has a wrecking crew defense they hope can build to a win. A sold out Kyle Field. They are looking to maroon out the number two team in the country, the highest ranked club that's been in here in 15 years. A battle of Frank Solich and R.C. Slocum as North meets South in a Big 12 battle. This town is definitely ready for this football game. A&M won the toss and deferred. Nebraska and Joe Walker will receive and watch out for him as Leckler hits a line drive that's fielded at the 29-yard line. One of the up men, and oof, paid the price. Is that Sheldon Jackson? Set to take a look at the Chili starting lineups. First, the biggins up front. For Nebraska, it's a young line with the exception of the senior Josh Heskew inside. Sherman and Guest for the guard. Robin Jolch are the tackles. Matt Davison gets his first start. Wiggins and Sheldon Jackson, who we just talked about. D'Angelo Evans in the backfield. We saw him look great two weeks ago. Still a little bit hobbled. And here he comes on the first pitch of the game. And who else? That win makes the tackle. Defensively for AM, Rocky Bernard has the most size of a small group up front with Edwards and Flemons. The linebacking core, you know about that win, but hey, Cornelius Anthony's not bad. The number two tackler with Holdman and Bradley. And the secondary, Rich Cody, a former walk-on, leads the secondary and hits with Webster, Jennings, and Brooks. And there's the guys, Gary said. We'll see a lot of them today, and already he has one tackle in one play. Second down and ten, Nebraska. Newcomb pumps one way, wants to throw back a screen the other, and the Aggies have that one smelled out, and Newcomb's got to throw it away. Intentional grounding on the offense. Lost it down. Third down and 29, Nebraska. They're going to play it safe, D'Angelo Evans, but he bounces outside. Brandon Jennings made the stop from the secondary and a three and out. High snap, LeFleur gets it away and it's a dandy. Field it at the 24 by Taylor. Weaves his way to about the 33. Almost looked like a late hit at the end of that game, that uh, run back. Our Chile starting lineups for the Aggies. Cameron Spikes has been a tackle most of his career. He's moved inside and he and Haimuli make a great set of guards. Chris Cole is their big play threat. Spiller and Campbell, two excellent tight ends. And in the backfield, Randy McCown, his first start, uh, his second start, and his first win as a starter came last week. Hall and big Jamar Toombs in the backfield. And there's McCown. Didn't put up big numbers last week, but good enough to get a win over Kansas. First down from the 33. Here's a toss to Hall. to midfield and down to the 45-yard line of Nebraska. They certainly have here today already in Nebraska's end of the field of the 45-yard line. First down. Now the inside handoff to the fullback, and that's not booing, that's Toombs. Big Jamar Toombs. That's led by Mike Rucker, who saved the day against Oklahoma State. Kaiser Warren and Kelsey join him up front. The linebacking core, Jay Foreman had a career-high 13 tackles last week. Brian Shaw and Eric Johnson flank him. And in the secondary, Joe Walker, talk about saving the day, a 73-yard punt returns, what was the deciding factor in that game last week. Two tight ends set again for the Aggies. We'll see that most of the day. Here's the toss. Dante Hall has got the first down. And he's down near the 30-yard line before Mike Brown can wrap him up. Right now, some excellent holes being opened up by that front wall. a and is going to put the big guys out. First down at the 30. Cole, the motion man. McCown wants to throw to him. Pumps once, and now he'll bring it down. Safely gets back for a loss of about a yard. Second down, 11. Out of the eye, the second man threw his haul, and he is wrapped up this time. Foreman hit him. Nathan Simmons had a huge game, and most of that was done on the inside last week. Third and ten. McCown from the gun. Plenty of time, but he has it intercepted. Down the sideline. Ralph Brown now cuts back to the middle of the field. Brown still on his feet. All the way to the 40-yard line. 
on the interception for Nebraska. Ralph Brown had a pickoff against AM and in the Big 12 championship game. Last December, he's got one here today. The Aggies dropped Newcomb for about a half yard loss. Hadn't given up any points in the first quarter. They still have it. And we've just under 10 minutes remaining in this first stanza. Bobby Newcomb wants to pull up and throw and does. And he's got his man open. Out of bounds about the 31 is Matt Davison. Two tight end set now for Nebraska. Bobby Newcomb has a look. Third down, a long yard. Makovica, the up man. Newcomb going to keep it, and he's going to go down. Nice job defensively by Holdman again. A fourth down and two, and Nebraska will go for it. They're three out of four on fourth down conversions this year. The late pitch to Evans. Hit in the backfield, and down he goes. Brandon Jennings with a huge hit from the secondary. It comes back on the field for the Aggies now as they take over on downs. Dante Hall waits for his block. It helps when you can run from the second. Second down and six for AM. From its own 38, Hall again. And a penalty marker. I think we're going to have a holding call on the inside this game. Use check is our referee holding Texas AM. A second down play with a long ways to go. 14. Sir Parker in there, tailback in motion out of the backfield. McCown, quick drops, going to lay out a long ball on the side. And just off the fingertips of Aaron Oliver, he may have had a touchdown. Let's see which way they call it. You yeah. are correct, sir. That was a perfectly thrown ball. There was a chance right there. They got nothing from it. Second and 29, way back at their own 15-yard line now. Give it to the first man through. Only about three yards for Jamar Toons. Joe Walker. He'll probably throw one here, too, but more than likely a safe one. Third and 25. There's up. And he's got the on the sideline. This is going to be a touchdown for the Aggies. Chris Taylor. As the construction workers back there have their helmets on too and no doubt are cheering for Texas A&M. 7-0, the Aggies in front. Leckler's kickoff. Football around at the 9 by Joe Walker. And Walker will not make it back. Nebraska trailing. Something that doesn't happen often. From their own 19-yard line, a fumbled snap by Newcomb. And he got back to the line of scrimmage and eked out a yard. But he had been well-rested going into that game, and he's been a little bit hobbled ever since. Second down and nine. Makovica, the first man, the fullback. And he got about three. So far, the Aggies not intimidated at all by Nebraska. From the 24, Newcomb hit from behind. In Nebraska. Ten guys up against LaFleur. They put some heat on him. This one floats to Taylor, who's got the big play already today. He'll take it at the 42, his own number, and goes down at the 42. And a <laughs> Illegal block in the back from behind on Texas A&M. A&M with a touchdown lead and the ball back at 4.53 remaining first quarter. A long stretch handoff to Hall. And Dante gets swarmed under after he maybe got a yard. The last one only got him a yard, second down and nine. He'll try it again, and this time a much better result. He just bulls his way for a little guy that time out to the 40-yard line. And from the 40-yard line, they'll toss it to it. Cuts up inside. It's going to have to be a tough two. I don't know. I think he might be a little bit short. Very, very good. Well, that's, not a very, that's my swing. It's going to get all it the might get to the green. It's going to get to the green. He played the bump and run. It's pin high at the four. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Field, where AM leads by a touchdown, and they've got Nebraska backed up inside its own five yard line. Angelo Evans is in the end zone as he comes out with a handoff, and he got only a yard, maybe a yard and a half. Second down and eight. Whoa, oh. nobody home. Nobody Bobby home. Newcomb now <laughs> going to try to do it on his own. Everybody Bobby went left. the wrong way. For a Nebraska team with 1.40 now left in the quarter. Third and six. Newcomb. Oh, that was almost.
almost intercepted by Rich Cody. Oh, my goodness. Some heat on LaFleur. Nope, they're going to back up. They've got the return on. Chris Taylor waits on it from the 47. Taylor broke a couple tackles inside the 40, and he got a nice return to the 38-yard line. Got a three-wide outlook they're showing right now from the 38-yard line of Nebraska. McCown, deep right sideline, same play as earlier, and knocked away beautifully. Nice job defensively by Erwin Sweeney. The Aggies trying to get their 80th win of the decade. You talk about Nebraska owning the decade. The Aggies are not too far behind. The give to Hall, and Kelsey's got them all wrapped up. Loss of about two on them. Here's that third and long that AM has been very wor worried about. Nebraska does a lot of zone drops, and they're going to do it right here. Bringing the outside guys, dropping the tackles. Third and 12. They do it. Noseman drops back. McCown drops back and falls, courtesy of Julius Jackson. And the officials stop play here as the quarter comes to a close. The quarter, though, was Chris Taylor's for a touchdown. It's 7 nothing Aggies. The whole building was moving. Leckler set to move with his leg to kick. Walker waiting on it. Joe takes it at the 7. He had a 73-yarder last week. Walker, finally they track him down at about the 28-yard line. McAvicka and Evans behind Bobby Luka. McAvicka maybe got out across the 31. You get a look at the safeties right here, where they're going to be playing all day, about seven to nine yards off the line of scrimmage and playing option football first. There's the safety hitting Bobby Newcomb right on the knee. Late pitch, third down in the yard. Nebraska trails by a touchdown. Second man is Evans, and he's dumped again. Jay Brooks came flying around from the outside. That win from the inside. And punting time for LeFleur. Nebraska does not have a first down today so far. The punt goes to the 14. Taylor, nice stiff arm. Got out near the 30 before he's run out of bounds. McCown with a long touchdown pass already today. Of 81 yards. Working from just inside the 29-yard line. Dante Hall on a toss to the left side, and he's tossed down short of the 25. 12.45 left first half, 7-0 Aggies. Out of the eye, and a play action from McCown. He's got plenty of time, but that one was tipped at the line of scrimmage. It brings up third and 13. Hodge in motion, and McCown going to try to roll away from the pressure. Throws on the run. Completes it, but it's short of the first down. I don't know. By about a yard. Third straight, three and out. And Leckler to kick. Whoops, this one. He almost missed the ball. That goes out near midfield somewhere. In fact, it didn't get to midfield. So Nebraska starts to drive in AM territory. And maybe to the 45 goes Makovica. I'll give you the other couple after this play. On the option. Newcomb, late pitch, big hit again. There's just no running room for the Ibacks. In this case, D'Angelo Evans brings up third down along five. Newcomb, plenty of time in the pocket. Zips it out to Davison. It's a first down. Cornhuskers at the 31-yard line. First down of the day for Nebraska comes at the 11-minute mark. Newcomb. Again, a different eye back, same result. Buckhalter, second down along 10. Newcomb, play fake, fires out, complete inside the 20, and down to the 14-yard line is Davison again. 17 more, not at the 14-yard line. There's the stack eye. And Newcomb keeps it. Whew, paid the price. Probably got leveled by Rocky Bernard. It's a team that knows how to put it in the end zone when they get in the red zone. And again, the stack eye. Only about a yard, maybe two inside. Nebraska trying to tie the game up. They can get a first down inside the Aggie four. Newcomb, the pitch. Buckhalter got there. Touchdown. Correll Buckhalter dives in the corner. And we're an extra point away from a tie ball game. You always talk about responsibility defense against the option. Flying, Ricky Williams flying in the end zone. 
Extra point number 106 in a row for Chris Brown, and we do have a tie game. So Nebraska got good field position, and they knew what to do with it. Constructed themselves a touchdown. We're dead even at seven. It's library. We're heading into a kickoff. The tie game, and it just got to the end zone. Perfect bounce into the corner. And now let's see if the Aggies can answer with some offense of their own. Their big play today, an 81-yard touchdown pass. Other than that, they've had three three and outs in a row, and the officials blow this one dead. <laughs> First down at 15 at the 15. And only about two yards for Hall. Shanked a couple, actually, considering how good he is at that. Second down at 12. Oh, just getting by the first tackler is Hall. And the ball came swirling out of there, but he was already to the sideline. He actually went back to where the ball ended up after it was hit. So instead of third and two, it's third and seven. Now Nebraska's in that nickel situation again when they do so many different things. Out of the gun. McCown with a loft one for Cole. He went up for it, but it's broken up by Sweeney. It's not a high percentage throw. Leckler, this time he got his foot into it. Walker waits on it at the 29. First man missed. Joe Walker got the corner, run out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Nebraska going for the home run ball. Buckhalter remains the eye back. Newcomb will keep it. Back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. Second and nine. On their own 46. Newcomb. They go deep down the middle for his tight end, Jackson, and he overshot it. Oh, the flag comes in. Was that ball catchable or doesn't it matter? I think it was close to catch it. Let's see if they're offsetting anyway. Holding Nebraska. Interference. Uh, holding, rather. Right. A&M. Newcomb fires out across midfield, completes it to the 48 to Matt Davison again. And Frank Solich's team remains unbeaten at 5-0, but they've got their hands full today, tied at 7 here in Aggieland at Kyle Field. Third and a couple. Newcomb hit and dropped at the 50. Lonnie Madison. There's been nothing in this game so far. Lafleur's kick, he hit it a mile in the air. What a beauty. Taylor gets out of the way makes the end zone. That's how you win a lot of football games. You keep the same people around. And they are all good coaches. Didn't go anywhere. The only one that went anywhere was Coach Osborne. And I, did, I stayed up studying for that one. You must have. Second down and five. The give to Hall. Got three more. Let's see if AM can rev something up here offensively. First man. He's rumbled to the one. Now it's Hall. Touchdown. It's enough to make you smooch. The extra point is up and good. Seven left in the half here. Let's send it to our New York studios in Johnson. The outside. Short kick taken at the 28. And it's Sheldon Jackson, second time today, the tight end. There's those safeties again, about six and a half, seven and a half yards all day. Bobby Newcomb comes out, plants, and throws deep on the sideline. Incomplete. Bobby Newcomb, four of seven in the first half. Comes up throwing again, completes it again to Davison. And he's tracked down at the 45 again. That wins back in his old spot, though. Third down and four. First man. Short of the first down again. It wasn't the first man. It was a nice fake, but Holdman puts the stop. Out. That's what they're set to do again. The floor. Another high beauty. Taylor again lets it go, and it makes the end zone. Just a little bit too much on those kicks. 52-yarder. 
give is Hall and Dante's dropped for a loss by Mike Rucker. Kyle Field about 12,000 less fans than normal. 58,000's capacity now with the construction going on. They're down six to one in the series against Nebraska. But keep in mind this is the Cornhuskers' first trip into Kyle Field. Those other games were either at Nebraska or neutral oh. sites. Still time either going to throw the ball deep or run the ball. And it's Hall. Dante got about four. Second and six. And they won't. It's Toombs. And he gets popped as he crossed the 35. Last week, tied with Oklahoma State at the break. This week, trailing 18th ranked Texas A&M at the break. And the Valvoline halftime. 98 with John Saunders and Todd Blackledge coming up. It is 14 to 7. The Aggies trying to pull an upset here at Kyle Field. First time Nebraska has trailed since, uh, what, Missouri last year? It's been last a long time. time. They were tied last week at halftime with Oklahoma State. And this one by Brown. First down from the 20. It has been a good old-fashioned pad popper, that's for sure. And now the audible call by McCown, and he wants to throw that sideline pass again and in and out of the hands of Chris Cole this time. They've tried that fade. You saw in the Morgan Stanley Dean winner first half statistics an anemic ground game for Nebraska of 38 yards, which is what Gary's talking about. Is they're going to need a lot more tackles for loss to get back in the game now. Third down and eight. That's Hodge in motion. Here comes some pressure. Looked like a face mask on Johnson, and let's see. From the previous spot, first down. A huge play because AM would have been forced to punt the ball. RC's in the shade now. So is the whole AM bench. And out to the 39. Two more for Hall, and comes up to a second down and eight. Sir Parker in motion out of the Aggie backfield. He's an extra receiver. That one's knocked down. And he and Toombs flank McCown in the shotgun. McCown's going to scramble for some time. Looking for a block. Didn't get all that he needed, though. Got out. That long 55 is deceiving. This one is a good punt. Walker hit at the six. Now, if they call that for too right. quick into that uh, two-yard zone, I'm going to be surprised. I mean, let's see if there's two yards. The two-yard halo catches it. He's at the, well, yeah, that's two yards. That's two yards. That's what you're exactly hit. He's on the six. Jones was on the eight. Eight minus six. Possessions have gone first downless for Nebraska. Nukem comes up firing. Dangerous pass, but caught. That is beautiful defense that time. They've been stopped on a lot of these third and shorts. Nukem. He had to stretch out to get this one. I think he got it, though. As Nebraska was held at 38 first half rushing yards. And they're still sputtering a little bit on offense. Now Nukem off play action. Wanted to go deep. Scrambles, and he's going to go down. The wrecking crew gets to him. Cornelius Anthony, the first man there. Two big plays today for AM. A 71 yard romp by their fullback that got him close, and an 81 yard touchdown pass. And now the defense going to work. Warwick Holdman with his troops, and now it's third down and 19. Newcomb from the gun. And under the gun. And dropped again. point makes it 21 to 7. The fans are loving it. The coaches are loving it. The whole stadium is shaking. They make the same mistakes as everybody else. Here's a kick. Down to the nine to Wiggins. Wiggins got himself an alley on 
down the left side. And he's going to get it all the way up near midfield. Nice return by Shevin Wiggins. He's finding out what Kyle Field is all about. From the 49-yard line. And the new quarterback is in. Um, Joel McEvick had just got landed on his left leg. Right. And a first down. Here's a big opening for the fullback. All the way down to the 18-yard line. McEvick comes up limping on one play and goes 22 on the next. The fullback straight up the middle on that last play. At the 18. Newcomb keeps it. Might have gotten inside the 15. Down to 740 in the third. Second down and six. Three wideouts for Nebraska. Newcomb keeps it again, and guess who? That win. There's the tackle numbers on that win in his career. Agavica doesn't want to go down. He goes down short of the first down, though, and it's decision time. 0 1 today, but 3 for 5 on the season on fourth down conversions. They're going to have to earn it. It's about two yards left. And around coming to Wiggins. Hit in the backfield and drops. Jason Webster stayed home and made the play. Nebraska thinking about a blitz here. And McCown, off play action, wants to throw on the run. Now he's going to keep it. <laughs> Mike Rucker has been quiet at that rush end position. Not a sack this year yet. Here's Hall. Across the 20 and out to the 22. He's only about a yard and a half shy. Of Third down and two. Little option this time by the Aggies. And McCown's got a first down keeper. That and the size you talked about, 260 plus. To the 28. Only about a yard. Second down, a long eight. Under four minutes in the third quarter. Hodge in motion. Here's the toss. Sir Parker. Whew, man, did he take a hit? Third down and four. Taylor, who's got a touchdown today, in motion to the top of your screen. And here comes Toombs. He almost broke it again. He got a first down. Rucker hit him low. Out to the 40, where it's first down again. Moving the secondary to get it down to the 43 yard line. 17 more yards. 99 now for Hall, 94 for Toons. And there, the eye backfield behind McCown on a first and 10. McCown again wanted to throw down the sideline to Oliver, and he'll keep it. Whoever was color, uh, eight plays, all run so far for the Aggies. Now to the 41 yard line and a run. Whistle and a penalty. It forces you into those things. Got a snap. Ball start on the offense. In the third quarter. And that time, the snap to McCown, I think, is going to get their five yards back. Those of you who are viewing us, and that game is not on your screen, it's because of a power hit that they've taken in the stadium there. They're working as quickly as possible to try to get you back to the Fighting Irish and Arizona State's game. Sir Parker back in there at the tailback spot. McCown scrambles around. Found an opening. He's got a first down. Inside the 20. McCown. First and goal, Texas AM. Dante Hall weaves his way inside the five. It's second and goal from the four. The toss. About a yard gain for Dante Hall before he swarmed under. A third and goal situation down in front of those gentlemen to start the fourth quarter. 21 to 7 Aggies. ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Hall a tailback. Two tight ends set. Mo Spiller and Campbell in there. On a third and goal. Goes over 
for the score. And Russell Bynum's extra point makes it a shocking 28-7 A&M. You think they're not trying to pay back Nebraska for the Big 12 title game last year? They are on their way. What a shocker, huh? Wow. Still a long way to go, but on the short end by three touchdowns. Now the Nebraska Cornhuskers. You don't have to rub your eyes. It's not blurry. It is 28 to 7. Texas A&M over number two, Nebraska. Bobby Newcomb. Got about three on the keeper. He's going to have a new one today. Second down at seven. Nice play fake. There goes a bigger chunk, but he got his man, too, and it's Davison. Well, Davison's been his favorite receiver. He's got 100 yards on six catches today. Now they go back to the ground game. Straight ahead. Akavikin. The Huskers at the Aggies' 23-yard line. to keep it and paid the price. Stat win and Roiland Bradley. Short five. 12.45 left in the ballgame. Newcomb fires over the outstretched arms of Davison. Another fourth down. Newcomb delivers it. Davison can't hold it. Oh, that's a great play. Great play by Jason Webster that time. Definitely the upset of the day in the making. And it's second down and one. Sir Parker now in a tailback. So all three backs have done their job today, especially Hall and Toombs. Toombs again. As they yell Toombs here at Kyle Field. <laughs> Takes Jay Foreman with him. That's been the difference in this game. 200 yard rushers they've seen today. Something almost unheard of against the Nebraska defense. Here comes the other guy that's got over 100. Dante Hall. This is one you'd pay to watch. Texas A&M at home trying to pull a stunner. McCown. <laughs> Great day for the offensive line. Big Jim R stays in there. And a wing to the right side as the fullback. And it goes to Sir Parker. And Parker with a big hit. All that's left in the ball game. Leckler. Another knuckleball to Wiggins. One of the up guys will feel. about four yards. Aggies are making the most of it right now. Empty backfield. Newcomb had it tipped at the line by Warwick Holdman. How many big plays can that kid make? <laughs> it's one again by Jason Webster on the pass play. Newcomb in the open field on the broken play. And he's got a first down. Bobby and the longest winning streak in the country stopped here in College Station, Texas today. From the 39. Newcomb loads and goes long on the left side for Davison. Did he make the catch? A great catch, and they give it to him at the 22-yard line. As a Cornhusker, because Cheatham's out with the injury, and there it is. Yep, there's wow. the catch. His left foot came down. Taking over for Kenny Cheatham, who's out a couple of weeks with a shoulder injury. Newcomb, pitch. Davis. D'Angelo got down to the 14-yard line. Anthony, second down and two. Newcomb keeps it and should get the first down. We're going to make some yards, but we're going to make you hit. We're going to hit you all day. They had a great red zone average going. Quarterback draw by Newcomb, and he might score. He does. Touchdown, Bobby Newcomb. 11 yards on the quarterback draw. See an onside kick, too. Chris Brown gets the extra point. 8.08 left. Newcomb finally gets Nebraska in the end zone again, but still a lot of ground to make up. They have deployed their defense to try to discourage Kim, uh, Nebraska from doing it. They're going to kick away. Chases Dante Hall back to the goal line on one hop as Randy McCown and the Aggies offense takes over. It's like they're thinking about a blitz here. It's Dante Hall, and he goes out to the 25, a pickup of five. Seven and a half to play, 28 to 14. Here's the eighth man right here up in the box. Dante Hall drops.
dropped the ball, but he got back on it. That's just the kind of play Texas A&M could not afford. I don't think you'll see anything fancy. Nebraska's going to be in an end rush. Let's see if they drop their lineman outside. Zone blitz. Third they down do. and seven. Quarterback draw. McCown. Kelsey got him. Breaker, he's waiting on this punt from Leckler. And Leckler got a dandy. Walker to the 22. And out to the 34. And Nebraska works from its own 34-yard line. Bobby Newcomb from the shotgun. Throws complete to Davison, who's been the big playmaker. Just outside the 40. Second down along three. Newcomb goes the other way. This one's complete. First down. We'll stop the clock momentarily as they, they stay in the four wide out grouping. D'Angelo Evans in the backfield with Newcomb. There's a dangerous one incomplete. He's not happy with his alignment. Second and ten. Newcomb pump fakes. Look out for behind. Nails it. He throws and it's incomplete. Royland Bradley got him. Nebraska only three of 13 on third downs. Newcomb try to keep it and get to the stick, and he got there and got the corner. He also got out of bounds. Still plenty of time. Five and a half minutes to go in the game. Newcomb caught at the 25-yard line by Wiggins. You know you don't want to make a mistake. Newcomb throws it out again, complete to Hafke, and another first down. They've moved it down the red zone again at the 18-yard line. Newcomb shovel past D'Angelo Evans, and Evans is inside the 10. Newcomb barking the signals to his wideouts. Looking left all the way and throws it away. Smart place. Well, it's two down territory, obviously, so Nebraska has got two shots at picking up a yard. They want to get it in the end zone. They might right here. Makovica, touchdown. That's a huge play. That's a huge play. Gain that much yardage. Puts the clock at 439, 438 left in the game. And down now only seven or eight points. But he's hit 107 in a row, 108 in a row, and we got a one touchdown ball game. Well, the last two times Nebraska's had it, they took 111 to score and 129 to score, and they're back in it. Time smartly, he doesn't kick it in the end zone either, forcing a return. Dante Hall from the nine. And Dante out across the 20. Here's the game down to the last four and a half minutes. AM clinging now to a one touchdown lead. Ooh, the ball bobbled in the backfield by Hall, and he loses a couple. McCown only his third start as the quarterback of the Aggies. Hall out across the original line of scrimmage. Here's a huge third down and 10 for McCown. They're bringing the heat, but the whistles blow the play dead. Delay a game on the offense. Five-yard penalty. A big lead. Your defense has been playing well. Let's try to clip it close to the vest, but now all of a sudden, third and 14. McCown steps up, fires in the middle, and he threw a perfect pass, and Leroy Hodge couldn't hold it. And a penalty marker flies in way after the play. You get three different versions. Let's see what happens. Pass interference, Nebraska. Here's the play. And you know, I think that's a pretty good call. Ralph Brown had his hands on the receiver that time. 3.07 nope. left. No taking a knee yet. Sir Parker's the tailback. Gets the carry. Took a lick at the 35. Linebackers are up tight. Let's see if they give the ball to the fullback. They do. There he comes. Nothing. He goes down after about a one-yard gain. That's a long ways right now against Nebraska. They'll keep it on the ground. Hall got back to the line of scrimmage. That's about it. Lauren Kaiser. And he's waiting on it in the sunshine at the 10-yard line. Leckler. Oh, boy, did he hit all of it. Walker has to let it go. Good four wide receiver offense led by Bobby Newcomb. From the 20, Newcomb comes up, firing, and Hafke, the intended receiver, has it knocked down by Jay Brooks. Yeah. So a five-yard. But he hasn't made that big play yet. That has been his signature. From the shotgun, Newcomb over the middle. Oh, hit London right in the hands, and he dropped it. 
at the top of your screen. Nukem fires out complete. Davison trying to get out of bounds. Did he? Nope. But it's still going to stop. It's still going to stop. Still 66 yards away from a tie football game. Nukem wanted to throw long. Now he's going to tuck it, get what he can, which is basically back to the line of scrimmage as Royland Bradley. This is the kind of drive Nebraska had to have against Oklahoma State last week. It's the kind of drive they had to have against Missouri to go and win in overtime last year. From the gun at the 45. Minute and a half to go. Nebraska trails by a touchdown. The out complete and out of bounds at midfield goes Billy Hafke. You got a holding. Holding on the offense. 10 yard penalty, bottom of the foul, and team first down. Sheldon Jackson, the tight end's back in there. He's been quiet all day long. They'll keep it on the ground. Out to the 40 goes D'Angelo Evans, but the clock down to 115. Second and 15. Nukem has it tipped at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. It's yardage now, not the clock that's a factor. Newcomb, all day to throw, deep, intercepted, picked off by Cedric Curry. And the Aggies are going to stop the longest winning streak in college football. And we'll have a new national champion as well, more than likely. Nebraska can only stop it one more time. The fans can't wait to erupt one more time. They'll get their chance here. <laughs> that is a big upset. AM shocks number two, Nebraska. Suffered by Frank Solich. As Gary said, probably R.C. Slocum's biggest win ever. It's been almost a quarter century since the home of the 12th man has felt this good about this big a win. The final score, the Aggies of Texas A&M, 28. The Cornhuskers of Nebraska, 21.